Hey everybody, welcome again. Today I want to talk a little bit about the new gadget I just got. So the unit I'm talking about is called Tonewood Amp. Um, and I'll put some notes probably in the description, but it's T-O-N-E-W-O-O-D-A-M-P.com. And you know, the guitar, this is my seven string guitar. <laughs> Just, you know, just sounds like a guitar and that's pretty cool as is. I never had complaints about how my guitar sounds, at least nobody told me about it. But with this particular unit that I'm about to show you, it sounds even better, I think. I'm not going to show any installation, instruction, anything like that. I'll just show you how it looks. I'm just going to put my guitar face down and you can see there's a cable running from my guitar into this. Let's, um, into this little amp and I'm showing to you the back side of the amp. It sticks to your guitar and the way it works, there's a, um, I had to install a tiny magnet bracket. It has magnets. And so when I put the amp onto the body of my guitar, it just basically sticks. That's all we need to know for this demo. I want to show you this side of it and you can see it's got very few controls. There's a, at the very top, there's on off switch and then you've got volume. Um, parameters and effects there's a lot you can do with it again like i said it's not purpose of today's demo so you can change the effects it's got reverbs uh choruses uh tremolo uh, y effect and things like that my the most i uh, wanted delay as well the ones that i do like are of course reverb and a bit of chorus kind of couldn't care less about why or, or delay sometimes i do actually but again like i said reverb and chorus my two favorite ones and so you can change everything here from this panel. These switches you can turn um, like this and actually every time you turn them you feel that they're notches. So that's really super convenient. So you know you can actually count the number of, of steps. Um, some par extra parameters you, you can access by pressing on these things or long pressing and so on and so forth. Again, you can go to the website and see all the wonderful videos they've done. Uh, there are, you know, two USB ports here. Uh, one is for updating the firmware. Another one currently says unused. So we'll see what that means. Uh, and these are these two here, the quarter inch um, jacks. They are for plugging one end of this little cable into the guitar and another one goes into the amp. So that's how you get the sound into it. Okay, we're going to get to the sound in just a moment. But that's how you get the signal from the guitar. And from this jack, you can actually output the signal from the amp into the PA system or other speakers. And into this tiny jack, one eight inch jack, you can actually plug in signal from another source, let's say your iPhone. So you can technically take the signal from your iPhone or your other phone and just play through the amp. This is the little speaker that's gonna produce those effects that I'm going to show in just a moment. So, you know, that's all you need to know about this little amp. There's much more, of course, but let's actually hear how this works. I'm going to stick this to the guitar like this, and it fits pretty well. One end goes here, the other one here, into the amp. And let's go back to the guitar. turned on okay now you can hear reverb coming out of this So you can hear 
here just sounds a little sweeter. I usually like to use it just as a sort of background, not too much because I still would like people to hear the, the you know, authentic sound of the guitar. Because this guitar sounds very loud already, you don't really hear much of the reverb, but you will definitely notice that the guitar sounds a bit sweeter and slightly fatter. to sustain notes a little bit, which is really cool. something else here maybe you can switch so here's the delay I give it a little um, a reverse delay and here I can actually change the time If I'm going to look at is the reverb. Now, what I really love, if you just want to get into a sort of meditative mood, I can give it a really long sustain. But this could be used as a nice effect, right? If you just wanted to get some... Uh... Yeah, and so on and so forth. So there's a tremolo, like I mentioned. Uh, some of these effects, it depends on your taste. I don't particularly like why. I just don't find it sounds too good. But then again, uh, some of that um, could be... Um, mitigated once you connect the guitar to the actual amplifier or PA system some of these effects may actually become a bit more useful but as this I'm just super happy with the reverb and honestly speaking uh, this is mostly what I'd be using sometimes with a mixture of chorus uh, and by the way this uh, amp uh, takes three AA batteries so and I think you can go for about seven or eight hours playing straight without having to change the battery that's pretty decent you know definitely should be enough for a gig or you know a few days of just sort of intermediate use uh yeah like i mentioned you can go to tonewoodamp.com uh, and they have wonderful video uh, as well as text manuals uh, you can watch uh, feature profiles uh, of, of artists and there's lots of really cool information but i thought to show you what i feel and think about this particular unit and Thank you so much for watching.
I'll talk to you soon.